tell me who rock, who sell out in the stores. You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got pops, who mostly goes down to the blue drop. The same old pimp. Welcome back to those of you who come back. It's your girl with another video. <laughs> So, today's video is going to be about my 25th birthday and basically why I believe my 25th birthday was one of the best birthdays I've had in my life. And it's not because of the surprise birthday party my family threw me. It's not because of the fact that I was able to go out with my cousins and have a great time. It's just this 25th birthday, I feel like it was a milestone of growth for me. Let me explain. So all of my life, I noticed something. Around my birthday or before my birthday, I would get sad. Like, I would really get sad. And one of the reasons why I would get sad all the time is because I would start thinking about my birthday and I start comparing myself to other people. Um, growing up, I always was sheltered. My parents, they sheltered me. They were trying to protect me, of course, but <clears throat> they made me a little socially awkward. Anyhow, my parents, um, they sheltered me. So I was like a kid that grew up in a box, you know? So... I always felt different from all the other kids, like even at church, a place where you should feel accepted. I never felt accepted. I always felt different. And I kind of had that mindset like everywhere, you know, and I, I used to struggle with that a lot. Like, thank God now I'm not, I don't think like that as much anymore because God is literally doing a work in me. But I always used to feel different. Like, I'm different. I'm all by myself. I'm the one that people don't want to be around. And I'm the left out one. I'm ostracized. And you know what I came to realize? As I'm growing in Christ and I'm learning spiritual things, I'm starting to understand, like, that is a spirit. Give me one second because I'm too low. Let me get higher. Am I higher now? <sighs> Just a little. But anyways, what I started to realize is that is a spirit. It's a spirit of rejection that keeps speaking in your mind to make you feel like nobody likes you. And then life becomes all about you. You know, I went to a deliverance service the other day and the deliverance minister was like calling out the spirit of rejection. And that thing started manifesting. Like, like people was really like... It's a real thing. Like, the spirit of rejection, it's a spirit. It causes your disposition to be negative. So you start thinking, nobody likes you, and it's all about you. And, oh, nobody visits me. Nobody calls me. Nobody me, 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 me. And then you really have to ask yourself, okay, what about you? What do you, what do? You do? It be the ones who complain the most about how ostracized and hard their life is who contribute little to nothing to other people around them. You know what I'm saying? And so although you might feel sad, you also got to be careful because that can make you a very, very selfish person. So growing up, it was always, I always felt weird. I always felt different. I always felt like I didn't belong. And so when my birthday would come around, it would be weird again because I always had very little friends and my friends would not last. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's a conversation for another day. But I always didn't really have a lot of friends and I was always limited in what I could do because of my upbringing. So I always felt weird and I used to like watch people, what they did for their birthday. And when my birthday came around, it was a constant reminder that I couldn't do that. It was a constant reminder that I didn't have all that support. Nobody likes you like that. You ain't got no friends. You can't go anywhere. You can't travel. So it was just like this domineering voice in my head just like putting me in a box of rejection and so this 25th birthday I feel like God was calling me out and he was bringing me to a place of maturity you know what I'm saying I was reading a psalm and the psalm said let all that has breath praise the Lord and it really stuck to me it let me see like okay let all that has breath praise the Lord God is putting a mandate on us who are created in his image to what to praise him not to sit around and complain, not to sit around and whine. And then I started looking at my life. Like recently I got a new job and um, in my job, I was reading certain clinicals and I started to see like there was a clinical that came to my desk for 25 year old, 25 year old man. And I'm reading his clinical and I'm just like, wow, nobody wanted to really accept him because it was so complicated and difficult. But I'm like, yo, even if somebody did want to accept this patient, this person is not even living anymore. Like, and he's 25 and I'm about to turn 25 and I'm sitting here. Oh, nobody likes me. And I'm so sad. Blah, 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 blah. At this stage, God was just like, okay, Beth, it's time to grow up. That's what I felt. I felt like God was putting me in a place where I had no choice but to grow up and to like really cast those voices out to the point where I really had to like, just shut those voices out. Like be, I cast you out that, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to just like, you know, 
concentrate myself in prayer. Like, despite the fact that I don't feel like I have all this stuff and all these people and all this these relationships. And that's another thing God showed me too. He showed me that a lot of times we can desire relationships. We can desire a feeling of somebody likes us so badly that we're willing to put up with things we should not put up with. We're willing to put up with people that we should not be putting up with. And so God gave me the strength to really be like, okay, look, even if I got to be by myself, what's healthy is what I want. I don't need to be around people just because, oh, people, you know what I'm saying? Like this craving for people to accept you, you're going to subject yourself to all types of negative environments and energies that's going to hinder your growth spiritually and in all aspects of the word, just because you want a body next to you. So I feel like God was really maturing me. I came to a point where even before I knew about the surprise party, I was just like, look, I'm going to take these nice pictures and I'm going to go out with my cousins. I'm going to enjoy the times with my cousins because a lot of times what we do is we don't see the blessings that we have. We want to complain about all the stuff that we wish we had. Blah, 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 blah. But it's like, look, God gave me these cousins. OK, you might not have a thousand friends, but look at your family who cares about you, who loves you. Like, So I really went to some out to eat with my cousins and my sister and I had the best time. I said, look, I was so happy and I thank God because... That's not something that I always did. All the years before, I would always like either get sad before, after, or during my birthday because I was just always thinking like the negative rejection thoughts. But it's just like you have to really cancel that out with Thanksgiving. That's another thing God was growing me and he was growing me in Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving not only to him but to other people to understand that, you know, Everybody around you is a blessing. Nobody who doing anything for you has to do anything for you. So for you to sit here and whine and complain and not see what you have in front of you is ungrateful. And it's not good for God to look down and see that, right? And so I feel like this was a great birthday because it was growth. I had to grow up and I feel like I did grow, which is the reason why I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was happy because of the fact that God was pushing me to grow and to mature in that area. And now when it comes to these thoughts of nobody likes me, blah, 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 I feel like I've been delivered. Like I said, was it that deliverer service? And I started, you know, dwelling in it. I feel like I've been delivered from that. And it's just a matter of maintaining the deliverance and coming against every single thought, casting down every thought, every imagination that rises itself up above God, staying in prayer. You know what I'm saying? Continue to stay in prayer because the devil is crafty. He will always try to whisper in your ear, oh, this person don't like you. Blah, 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 blah. And people just be like living their life. It's not like they don't like you. People just be living their life. Like people have different characters, different characteristics. Like the devil will try to get you to reject yourself right so that your life can be nothing but foolishness because a person who's not grateful who's not thankful God it's only so far you can go right I'm not gonna keep giving you if you don't you're not thankful for what you have and so what the enemy does is he gets into our mind causes us to operate in the form of rejection and then that hinders us from all of our other blessings because you think nobody likes you you have no confidence you have no um, strategy you're, you're not disciplined you're not strategic and everything in your life is affected why? Because of a faulty thought process. And that's something that has dominated my life for the longest. And I thank God, like, it's finally lifting. Like, that's why I feel like this birthday, um, this 25th birthday was so good for me. Because it's just like, when I was younger, before, I used to think, oh, I'm going on a vacation with this person and that, my friends. We're going to be on social media showing off and stuff like that. But now it's just like, I came to a point where like, look, I'm good. I'm happy to be alive. I'm 25. I'm not on a hospital bed. I don't, ain't nobody rejecting my clinicals. You know, <laughs> so... Yeah, I think God, um, I think this was a year of maturity and I thank God for that. I really do. And I thank God that he's delivering me from those thought process. So if you are somebody who's like that, who constantly thinks nobody likes you, I need to let you know that that is a spirit speaking in your head, right? And you have the power to cast it down by the authority of the blood of Jesus. You have the power to come against it and you don't have to live under the bondage of that spirit because that's not what God has called us to. So I just want to encourage you and hope that this was able to help you and move you and just let you know, like, look, I've been through that. Like, I lived through that. And I'm finally experiencing what I feel like is freedom. Like, it don't matter if I think you don't like me. Like, I'm starting to like me. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to understand that God likes me. I'm starting to understand that there's a higher purpose for my life. So, yeah, that's why this was such a great birthday. <laughs> 
So until next time, see y'all. Next time, also, I hope you guys saw my um, announcement video for the blog that I just released. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep following me. Y'all know I tell y'all, I don't try and force no videos. I'm going to try to be more disciplined, but I've never been one to be like a video every month, a video every week. Because, girl, if the Holy Ghost ain't with me to do it, I ain't finna do it. I will literally come up here and talk foolishness to you. And it will be best if I never did anything to begin with. Okay? So, um... Keep me in your prayers. God bless y'all. Until next time, I'm going to see y'all next time.